YouTube, what's going on? Back with my latest video, back with another Funko Pop mystery box. So, what I have right here is another Chrono Toys mystery box. If you watched the last one I did, I thought they incorporated two boxes into one, but it appears that was just one of the $40 mystery boxes um, that they sent out. So this is another $40 mystery box from them. It was a damaged mystery box, and the last one we got really, really good value in it, so I'm hoping the same holds true for this box. So let's open this up and see what we got. Here we go. Alright guys, so before we open this box up, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So yeah, like I said, if you watched that last video, um, I thought they combined two boxes because I only got one tracking number, um, but then this box just showed up, so um, I don't remember ordering anything else from Chrono Toys, so I would assume this is the second box, so this should be another $40 mystery box from Chrono Toys. If it was anything like the last one, um, what it's going to be is going to be six pops um, with slight damage on it. And um, yeah, we should get some pretty good value. So, um, you know, you can't, if you can say anything about Chrono Toys, I know a lot of people don't really like them too much. They give you good value, so, um, especially in these damage boxes. So if you don't mind damage on your uh, Funko Pops, these are definitely some good boxes for you. So we'll just do these one by one and we'll look at the prices as we, as we go and see what we got. All right, so first pop. <laughs> All right, so this is the lion pop from uh, Steven Universe. It's the flock version. So I do have this one. Um, this is what a lot of times people complain about for Colonel Toys if they get them from overseas. The reason why I know is I just got mine from overseas too. Um, they just came out for the restock. So I know um, they probably picked these up the same place I did. So um, I got mine. Uh, so this is a duplicate. I didn't have one. I only had the regular line. I didn't have the flock one. So really excited to get this one uh, into the collection, but it being a duplicate now, uh, this one's definitely available if somebody's interested. Um, this was originally a Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, I think I have all of the Steven Universe pops right now other than Rose Quartz. That's the only one I'm missing, I think. Um, but yeah, this one's really cool. I mean. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's a really dope pop, but it's just a duplicate, unfortunately. Let's see what it's going for. Alright guys, so this Lion Pop's going for a total of 30 bucks. Not bad at all, uh, starting off a $30 pop, especially when we have $40 box um, for this. This box is $40 guarantee value, so starting off with 30 bucks, we only have 10 more dollars to get in 5 pops. So I think we have a good chance of doing that. So let's see what the second pop is. Number 2. Okay, so this is... Yoda, the child force wielding. I didn't know that's what it's force wielding. It looks like he was listening to a dope song or something like that, just vibing out. Um, so it's a cool looking pop. Um, it, it's, I haven't gotten into the Mandalorian yet. I haven't watched uh, an episode, but I do plan on watching it. I do have the Mandalorian pop back there, so definitely holding on to that before uh, uh, I see the show. And the child, they've made so many of these pops. I don't know how many they've made, but it's just back there is already three, and this is exclusive for the line, so. I don't know how many exclusives they have for the child, but there is a whole lot of pops out there. Um, I don't think I'll keep this one. If I get one, it'll just be the regular child. Um, I don't need him, uh, you know, grooving out some music or anything. But pretty cool nonetheless. I like how they did these things sideways, I guess, because um, his ears are so long, they couldn't put it the other way. Um, but let's see what he's going for. This child pop is going for a total of 17 bucks and it's a Walmart exclusive so pretty cool one uh, you got that special edition sticker there again um, you know anytime you see the special edition sticker guys if you didn't know that means it's exclusive to a store stateside um, but these are going to be the international versions of those pops so we're already over guarantee value and we still have four pops to go so far um, you know not one pop doesn't really fit in my collection and then one pop I already have so let's see if we can get something that uh, does fit in my collection that I don't have number three Oh, that works. We have Ron Swanson from Parks and Recreation. So, I just finished Parks and Recreation. I don't know why it took me so long to get into the show. Um, it's hilarious. I actually think it's funnier than The Office, which a lot of people compare it to. Um, drop down in the comment section below which one you think is better. Um, but Ron Swanson is definitely a, a funny dude. I definitely uh, relate with him a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, just really cool dude overall. 
So um, really, really cool pop. I don't have this one. At one point I did get that April Ludgate pop, um, but I didn't know who she was at the point and I got rid of it. So hoping I can get that uh, back. I think all these pops started to go up in value. I don't know how much Ron's going for. I did get that Burt Macklin on the restock uh, for Hot Topic. I haven't got it yet. When I do, I'll show you guys. Um, but really, really cool show, really funny show. So if you haven't checked it out, um, like myself, definitely go ahead and uh, give it a look. But this Ron Swans is going for a total of 11 bucks. Wow, I thought that this one would go up, one up in value, but $11 pop, one I don't have, and uh, one that definitely it's a four series I plan on collecting. So there you go, Ron Swanson from Parks and Recreations. Really, really cool pop. All right, guys, maybe they'll have some more of the Parks and Recs pops in here. That would be very, very nice. So we have halfway through. Let's see what we got for number four. Okay, so this is Handsome Jack from Borderlands. So I do believe I pulled this in the past before. Um, I have not played Borderlands still. I don't really have any intentions to do so. Um, but I think I remember this being a Volted pop, so I don't think it was probably about a $20 pop, we'll check in a second, see if I was right. But here are the other pops from this line back there. If anybody's interested in Borderlands and not too sure what pops are out there for it, there you go. Um, but Handsome Jack, I don't have much I can tell you about him. I have no idea. Um, the only thing I can say is it looks like that's like a visor of him back there, like a translucent visor, um, like to protect his eyes or whatever. And on the pop, it looks like he has a mask. So that's really weird if that's what it is. Drop it in the comment section below, but the, the pop image right there and the actual pop, I don't know if that really uh, translated really well, but maybe I'm just missing something. I don't know who Handsome Jack is, so maybe I'm criticizing the wrong thing, but let me know if you guys know who he is in the comment section below. But he's going for a total of 20 bucks. I was actually dead on. And it's kind of weird. Um, I don't know if this is uh, exclusive or not, but it looks different in the picture on the Funko app than it does in person. So. Strange pop. There you go, guys. Number four is Handsome Jack. All right, guys. I don't mean to be overcritical. I just like, I mean, that's just how my mind works. I point things out I see in real time. So let's see. Number five. Uh, who's this? So we have Flayed Billy from Stranger Things. So I haven't got this far in Stranger Things. I don't know who Billy is. So um, I can't tell you much about him, but it looks like he's uh, cracking. He's got his, oh, and his veins um, everywhere. So. That's pretty interesting. Um, I do plan on eventually getting back into Stranger Things. I saw the first season, couldn't really get into the second season. I think they're on like season four or something like that now. So, had to catch up. I kind of like to binge watch shows straight through and just be done with them. Um, I started watching Umbrella Academy and now I'm uh, waiting for three, season three and I kind of uh, I, I kind of hate doing that. I like to just be done with the show when, I'm, when it's over. But nonetheless, Flay Billy, fifth pop in this box. Let's see what he's going for. Billy, my dude, is gone for a total of seven bucks. So he's a 2019 pop and uh, still available. So there you go, N uh, seven bucks for Billy. So we have one final pop to go. Um, and I'm really hoping for another Parks and Rec pop at this point. Um, or maybe Rose Quartz since we got a Steven Universe pop. So I don't know what we'll get. This pop feels a little heavy, so maybe that's a good sign. Let's see what we got. Number six. Oh man, so we have Poe with Hat. From Kung Fu Panda. So um, I, I think they got a lot of this stuff from like Asia exclusives because I think this is the Asia exclusive pop if I remember correctly. It's not but I think most of the uh, Kung Fu Panda ones were. Um, I saw Kung Fu Panda the first one. It was a really good movie. I didn't see any of the sequels um, but a lot of people love this movie. They talk really highly of it and uh, you know Funko has a lot of Kung Fu Panda pops out there that um, not a lot of people see because, like I said, they're age exclusive. So um, they're hard to track down, not too expensive or anything, but just you don't see them all the time. You kind of have to, you know, find them on eBay and Mercari, and even then, there's not too many of them out there. But cool pop nonetheless. This pop's going for a total of 15 bucks. So it's a 2015 uh, pop. It is vaulted and uh, doesn't say it's age exclusive. So maybe this one came out in the US. So there you guys go. The final pop for the day is Poe with Hat from Kung Fu Panda. Alright guys, so I think I did very, very well overall. Definitely got our value. Here's the total value right there. My favorite's got to be that Ron Swanson though, but drop down in the comment section below what your favorite pop was. None of them I really hate. You know, I, I like all of them other than that Stranger Things pop, but I just haven't seen them yet, so I don't know much about them. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have not already, hit that like button down below as well. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel. And if you have not already, follow me on Instagram at the Pop Savage so you can stay connected there too. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.